some sort of a kill signal from the terminal but to keep the example as simple as possible we'll use this so note that when the call to accept returns right let's do a man accept when the call to accept returns it gives back a new socket descriptor and this is the socket descriptor for the client which is connecting to us right so to talk to that client we have to use that new socket descriptor so let's just call it cli right the socket descriptor for the client let's move down now and once again let's do a little bit of error checking with accept accept once again takes the server socket as the input and as you've noted it takes in a client structure this time now this client structure will be filled in with the client value when accept returns also note that accept takes in a pointer to a variable containing the length of this structure socket edr underscore in or socket edr structure both these structures of course are same in length so we check with a minus one to make sure that there is no error if there is an error once again we go ahead and flag it right so once let's say accept return successfully and we have the client socket you're going to send out a message to the client so let's quickly define a small message here let's keep it as hello to the world of socket programming something more descriptive of what we are actually doing so we're going to send out this message right now so as you can notice here at this point the client socket has returned and we can talk to the client so what we are just going to do is a simple send to the client now once again if there is any confusion you can quickly do a man on send right and you notice that it takes in the client socket as input to whom you want to send the data and then the pointer to the data itself the length of the data and of course flags which we already said in this presentation for this particular uh, i would say exercise it's going to be zero so let's put in the client and then after that we know that data lies in message and basically the string length of message right so another thing is that we can actually get the number of bytes sent by sent so let's just keep it as sent and take this here right send is equal to right and just do a print f send person dhd bytes to client percentage s here's where we print up the ip address of the client so one is send and the another is inet underscore n to a that is network to ascii server no sorry it's going to be client dot sin underscore addr fine Let's do a quick man on N to A. Sorry. 
needs to be in inet underscore into a okay cool so it gives back a pointer to the data itself so this is fine uh, after doing this we basically close the connection right for the client let's put the closing brace for the while think there is one brace problem somewhere supposedly okay here so we can now go about <laughs> compiling this program let's hope that we have all the includes with us sometimes even if there is an error it would be more fun so that we can sit down and debug together as to what could be the possible problems while compiling it gives me a couple of warnings here and it also gives me an error so let's go ahead and look at the error first syntax error 64 I think we do not need this. It's an extra brace which we got. A couple of warnings. I think first one is basically because we have not included strings.h which is required. So let's quickly include string.h. This was required for B0. Um, so as you can see, right in compared, there's an implicit declaration. So passing argument 3 differs in sinus. The reason is that length currently is defined as an int, which could be negative as well. So if you just make this an unsigned int, things should be fine. right so let's start up our hello server and let's go to the next terminal and first check that the server is actually up right this should show us uh, all we need to see here is port number 10,000 is listening then listen state right this is our hello server that's it let's go ahead and tell net to that right so we connect here as you can see the server just told us hello to the world of socket programming and after that of course it closed the connection this part is actually what telnet tells us if you go to the server terminal basically said send 42 bytes to client 127.0.0.1 this 42 bytes is nothing but the length of this string itself so as we can see that we have made our very basic server which sits in on a particular port and whenever a client connects to it sends out hello to the world of socket programming to that client so with this we end this example I hope things were clear please have a look at the code and try this example on your own once thank you